Joining us now is that parent you saw in that video being dragged out, Dave Callis, his attorney, Chad Hummel, is with us. Uh, I, I got to ask you, Dave, I was shocked watching it. And by the way, this is the, after even Democratic states like New Jersey and Delaware lifted their mask mandate. The next day it was lifted in your state of New York, our state of New York. And uh, I couldn't believe what I saw. What were you thinking? Sean, thank you for having me. Uh, at, the, at the time, my intent in being there was uh, to speak on behalf of my son, who, uh, with all other children, have been forced to wear masks in the school district, in the classroom, for seven, eight hours a day. Um, and they haven't had a, a, a voice or a choice in, in uh, what happens to them and whether they can remove the mask or not. So um, I was there for 20 minutes without a mask on. Um, and when the security officer came up to me, he asked me to to put a mask on and I thanked him and um, it escalated to a physical and, and, and forcible removal uh, of me from, from the boardroom. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, so what happened after they took you out of the room? Did they leave you alone? Did they call the police? What happened? Well, the police were on site. Actually, there was a law enforcement officer in oh, the building, is, yeah. in the room. Yeah, and uh, I was under, uh, I asked if I was still allowed to stay to speak or if I was being removed from the property. Um, and that was undecided. Uh, I did a, uh, I felt a little pain, uh, so I ended up leaving to go to urgent care. Um, but I never got a chance to speak on behalf of my son. And, you know, as as a concerned parent, that's that's all we're, we're asking for at this point. I mean, we, there, there's been political overreach and control over our kids for so long. Um, and we haven't been asking for a ban on masks. All we want is a choice. We deserve the right to choose whether our kids go to school with a mask or not. Uh, I agree with you in principle uh, completely. Uh, they did this in Virginia. By the way, kids have been in school in Florida since uh, August of 2020. Um, I'll ask you as his attorney, Chad, uh, do you have any legal recourse here? Certainly, and, and Sean, thank you, of course, for having us on. We appreciate the platform here. Absolutely, both on, a, on the criminal side and potentially on the civil side. Right now, it's our understanding from speaking with the town of Webster uh, police investigators that, it, that they are currently investigating uh, possible criminal charges against this individual who apparently is a, uh, a former law enforcement himself. And we're also gonna certainly explore civil charges. What you saw in that video, um, it's not taken out of context whatsoever. Uh, they, they unlawfully, this individual unlawfully placed his hands on my client in New York state that's considered a civil battery. He had no right to do that uh, unless a law enforcement officer is effectuating a lawful arrest. Uh, there's simply no reason to place your hands on somebody and uh, and do what, what you saw that individual do to my client. And, and what did the police say to you, Dave, when you got taken out of the room? What were the police telling you? The law enforcement officer was, uh, he, he did what he was supposed to do at that point. He diffused the situation. He pulled me aside and, and away from the security staff. And um, I, I'm, I'm a full supporter of, of law enforcement. I always have been. And um, I've, I'm familiar with that officer um, from other incidents uh, on the, in the school district. So I, I asked him politely if I was allowed to stay so I can, so I can give my uh, speech on behalf of my child uh, and to advocate for the removal of masks in the school. Uh, we've, we've been forced by the district, by the county, and by the state, uh, you know, to, to abide by these. They're not even laws and, and, and mandates anymore. I mean, at this point, they're, they're, they're loose rules. Um, and our children are, are absolutely suffering. I mean, the, uh, the, the mental health uh, pandemic that's going to follow from this, you know, is still untold right now. Unbelievable. We're going to follow your case. Sorry you went through that, and we appreciate your time. Thank you both for being with us.